Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a retro sunset effect with a palm tree in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, I've opened Illustrator already, and now I'm just going to create new. I'll come up here to the top to print, and then I'll choose letter over here, and we'll come down here to create. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is make our sun. So let's draw a circle by hitting L on our keyboard. That'll bring us to our ellipse tool. So I'm just going to draw a big sun. And right now I've got a white fill and a black outline, but I wanna add a gradient to this. So I'm gonna to go to Window, Gradient, and then I'm just going to click this bar down here. And that'll give us a white to black gradient. And that's fine, but I want it to be up to down instead of left to right. So I'm going to choose 90 degrees here. I'm going to choose kind of an orangey color, and I'll add that to my swatches. I'm also going to add another swatch, and this one can be kind of a purplish. little bit darker. We'll say okay. And um, since I had this selected, I've lost my gradient, so I'm just going to click back on the bar to get it back. And I'll have to add 90 here again. And then I'm just going to drag this swatch, the orange one, onto the top part of my circle, that part of the gradient. And then I want the purple to be on the bottom part of the circle. Okay, this is exactly what I want. Now we need to make our lines to give it that retro feeling. Okay, so hit M on your keyboard, and this will bring us to the rectangle tool. Now I'm going to draw kind of a, a thicker rectangle here, and I'm going to copy this by dragging it and then holding Shift and Option. That will make a copy, and I'm going to put that one right down here. And I'm going to make that one quite a bit thinner by just pulling a handle. And these don't actually need to be gradients. I just want them to be black. So I'm going to hit Shift X because I already have a black uh, stroke and that will switch them. Then I'll hit X on my keyboard to bring this to the front and then the question mark or backslash key to clear that out. So now I just have a black fill. And now I wanna make a blend between these two shapes so that the rectangles will gradually get a little bigger. Okay, so let's go to Object, Blend, and Blend Options. And right now I have it set to four. That means it'll put four rectangles in between here. And four sounds pretty good. We definitely wanna be on specified steps here and not smooth color. So make sure that is at specified steps. And then we'll choose four and we'll say, okay. Now that doesn't actually do anything. That is just telling Illustrator, hey, this is what I want the setting to be when I actually make my blend. So now we have to go up to Object, Blend, and Make. And we've got those cool retro lines now. Now I've noticed that we have a, um, a black outline on our circle. So I'm gonna click on that and then just click None. And now I'm going to add another circle on the outside of this. So I'm going to copy and paste behind. That's Command B or Control B on a PC. I'm going to click and drag on a handle, corner handle, and hold Shift and Option at the same time. Okay, so right now I have two circles. It's kind of hard to tell, but there is one um, on top of the other one, and they both have gradients. So I'm going to hit Shift X to switch my fill into a stroke. And now I'm going to increase that stroke by quite a bit. Our next step is to go and get some palm trees. And to do that, I'm gonna go out to vecteasy.com. I'll just click in here and search for palm tree and see what comes up. I don't really want a whole lot of detail in my palm tree, so I'm just going to, okay, here's one that looks pretty good. So I'll click on this, and it's a free download, but just know that if you're downloading anything from Vecteasy, 
and you're going to actually be using it, you need to read their licensing because they do require attribution. Okay, so let's download this. When we do that, it'll come right over here. I'll click this little arrow and do show in Finder. And it'll take me out to my downloads. Now, if you're on a Mac, all you have to do is Command O to open it. And where if you're on a PC, you'll want to right click and then extract or extract all. Okay, so let's take a look at what's in this folder. We've got a JPEG and an EPS. And the EPS is what I want. So I'm going to click and drag that onto my Illustrator icon. And here are the two palm trees. So I'm going to select them. They're grouped. I'm going to copy them and then I'm going to go back to my original document and paste them in. And now I'll just resize this by pulling on a corner and holding shift. I'll put this right about here. Now we can move our lines down a little bit. If we hit command Y, you can see that the rectangles don't actually have the lines between them yet um, because, and that's control Y on a PC, by the way. And so we can select that top rectangle, hit command Y again, and pull it down a little bit. Let's go over to our blend tool. And I think I'm going to reduce this to three. Let's preview and see how it looks. Yeah, that's much better. So we'll say, okay, I'd like to get this smaller palm tree and kind of change it because it's kind of in a weird place right now. So I'm going to hit G on my keyboard and that'll bring me to my group selection tool. Now yours might not be set up as G, so you might have to come in here and click the direct selection and then drag down to the group selection tool. I'm going to click on this smaller one once and that's got the first piece of the group. If I click again, it's got the next piece of the group, which is uh, that whole palm tree, which is what I want. Now, if I clicked one more time, it would also get this part because that's the third part of the group. And now this really matters um, how someone built this because sometimes you'll click and click again and it'll have everything and that's not what you want. So it really depends on whoever built this and how they decided to build this graphic. Okay, so I'm moving this one over a little bit and I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll rotate this. I hit R on my keyboard to get to my rotate tool. And I just click down here at the bottom to set an anchor point and then move it just a little bit. Now I want both of these palm trees to go below that first line right here, that first circle line. And that way we can kind of mask everything together. Okay, so I want all of these pieces to be inside this circle. So I'm going to select them and I'm going to group them with command G. Now I'll get this circle, I'll copy it, and then I'll paste in front. That's command F or control F on a PC. So I've got my circle and I'll hold shift and I'll grab my other pieces. And then I'll hit command seven or control seven on a PC. You can also go to object, clip, clipping mask, make. So this is a clipping mask and the circle that you just created and put in front is the mask that's holding these other pieces inside it. And now we can add just a really dark purple background. Um, I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to get my rectangle tool and I'll just draw a big rectangle. I'll hit X to get my fill in front and I'll double click it. And then we'll come up here and grab the purple. Maybe we want something about that dark. Okay, and we'll say okay. But right now this is in front, so let's hit shift command left bracket. That is shift control left bracket on a Mac. And now I'd like these to also be purple. So I'm going to hit Y on my keyboard and just select one of the black pieces and then hit I to get my eyedropper tool and click that dark purple. And we can also do that by hitting Y on our keyboard and clicking on one of the two pieces that make up that blend and then hitting I on our keyboard and click the purple also. All right, and that's how to make a cool vintage sunset with a palm tree or two palm trees in this case. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.